Absolutely. Yeah, I think I think one of the biggest things in a sense would be um, reading, but also reading things that you're unfamiliar with. I think there's a tendency to to look for books that, oh, I'm almost a confirmation bias in a sense mm -hmm. of, oh, I'm familiar with this topic. Oh, this is an author I agree with. Um, I want to read their stuff. And I want to keep growing in that sense. Um, and for the longest time, I I think because of the school system, I was turned off from reading. Um, and then I start, I also had this all or nothing mentality. And I realized though that, you know, it's reading is more like food. You're not going to memorize every single thing. Um, and that's part of what makes reading books that you've read before so great is you can learn something new every time, but it's more like food and you need to treat it in that sense um, where you're not going to see the tangibles initially, but it nourishes you. And slowly over time, you'll see yourself in, in conversations, um, pulling out words. You're like, where'd that come from? <laughs> um, oh, I read it and subconsciously remembered it. Mm -hmm. um, and overall, I think that makes you a better communicator, which allows you to approach things more comfortably. Um, more calmly, more understanding of, of others' perspectives. Um, so I think the tangible would be to seek that out and and maybe even ask people, um, which I think is a great way to connect with them. You know, what's a book that inspired you? I may not necessarily, you may be on the other side of the aisle, but I want to read that. And hopefully what they'll see in that is, you know, you're trying to understand them a little bit better. You know, that's kind of cool. He's not just asking, oh, what's something that's important to me? They're asking like, they're going to, they might put in this time to read that and see something that's inspired me. Um, I think that's something that can be really helpful over time.